Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to export an animated character from Softimage into UDK using a plugin for Softimage called Species. Ok, let's start. You can find the plugin under Animate Character Species Hominid. There you go. And let's start to build our character and our rig. The build import mail allows you to import uh, a base character that by the way can be replaced with your own uh, for more information about that please check the description under the video and you'll find a couple of videos on how to use this plugin okay once you did that let's open the explorer and we can uh, build the rig for this character and uh, you can do this in <laughs> very few steps let's choose once the proportion of the character is okay just choose hominid anim rig and choose the male prop rig and the rig will be built for the animation I'm going to use a bvh file that will show you the animation how it will behave the animation into soft image and into uh, UDK okay the rig is done as you can see here and now let's start to um, apply our BBH file, our anim animation, uh, using motor. Let's go to motor, tag rig, and in here you have to pick each um, item individually. So uh, instead to do that, instead of doing that, you can uh, basically with the plugin is uh, provided a file that has already all the tags. So just load that file and okay and now we have to apply the bvh file so once you do that just choose the anim rig go to motor mockup rig and let's choose our bvh file i'm going to use a backflip animation okay and in here you have to create uh, a tag template for the bvh file so let's create one from scratch let's hit create let's isolate the bvh file so we can see what we're doing okay and let's start to tag each point In here there is a little bug because as you saw if you choose the right part of the body it will automatically recognize the left side but in here as you saw the left upper arm is not recognized properly so let's just fix this okay now it's okay let's continue okay now it's let's do the extra parts go to neck head and finally toe okay once you did that just hit save and let's call it bvh uh, h udk tag okay okay now we can exit from the isolate mode I will hide the bvh file and I'm going to apply the bvh file to our rig. Okay, it's a bit messed up as you see here because we have to do one thing. Just choose the two controller for the legs and let we have to switch from okay under camera visibility stats. Let's um enable uh, show custom display info parameters and we have to switch from IK to FK. There you go. Apply again. I don't think it's necessary to apply again, but anyway. Okay, we can close this and let's see how the animation behaves. Runs up <laughs> not so fast, but I will run the timeline for you. There you go. Okay, the animation runs until 1 frame 132. Okay. Once the animation is applied, we have to do uh, one thing. But first of all, we can delete 
the prop rig and the BVH file. Now middle click on the anim rig and let's choose plot all transformation. Okay, let's call it back flip. Okay, okay. Uh, you can select this one or not delete plot with action. I usually untick. Okay, okay. So the animation has been plotted, and now we have to choose. We have to select the exporter for UDK that is called uh, ActorX. Let's do this. Let's go to export ActorX. We can close this species window and let's set up a couple of things. First of all the output folder. I already created a folder called species under the UDK game content folder. So let's copy and paste a name for the mesh. Let's call it back flip man. The animation file name that will be flip. Oops, flip and the animation sequence name because obvi obviously you can have m uh, multiple animations in the same scene so let's give it a name backflip and you can choose the animation range that our animation will go from 1 to 132 first of all let's save the, the mesh ActorX will write a PSK file that is the um, basically is a is a mesh but it will be recognized as a skeletal mesh once in in UDK let's give it a second or more than a second okay okay the PSK file has been written now we have to digest the animation basically it will plot the animation again so let's do this Okay. Okay. Once you uh, you did the digest animation, you have to go to animation manager, and you have to choose under this tab animation tab, because uh, as I told you, there uh, you can have multiple animations. You have to move uh, the animation from the animation tab into the output package. Then you hit save as. Uh, don't worry, this is a little bug that ActorX has, so because you can see what you're typing, so just type what you want okay or something already okay let's call it backflip let it save and this will write a PSA file that is uh, an animation file for UDK okay now let's jump into UDK there you go let's choose an empty package and let's import our mesh okay let's give the package a name the package can be mm, called like uh, like a folder where you will store all your mesh animation and so on texture and so on let's call uh, anim no anim rig okay the name of the mesh will be backflip underscore man And you see here that yeah, as me recognize as a skeletal mesh. Now it's time to uh, set up our animation. But first of all, we have to create an anim tree, an anim set. Sorry, let's choose anim set, new anim set. The package will be the same, so it will be stored under the same package in here. And then let's call animations. Okay. Okay. Now let's focus on the character in here don't worry about the materials because I didn't set up any so it looks a bit weird okay and uh, now we are in here and our skeletal mesh has, already, uh, has been selected already as you can see here now if you switch to the tab anim our anim set has been selected as well otherwise you have to go under the, um, the content browser select this anim set and hit the arrow in here but under animation sequences we have nothing because we uh, didn't import our uh, animation file to do this let's go to file PSA and this is the backflip animation that we plotted into inside the um, soft image so let's choose open there we go this is the animation and let's take a look at it 
perfect it runs exactly like it runs into softimage and as you can see here there's no problem with the bones at all it is exactly like it is in softimage so as you saw the process is, is quite simple from softimage using this plugin that is called species you create your character you create uh, the rig in a couple of seconds and then with some small steps you can import your animated character into UDK and it works perfectly. So that's it for this video tutorial on how to export a character from Softimage into UDK and see you soon. Bye bye.